All right, in this video, we are going to be comparing parallel and perpendicular lines. We're going to write equations of both parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Well, parallel lines have the same slope. So what does that mean? They slant the same direction. So if one line has a slope of 5, the second line has a slope of 5. All right, because they have the same slope because they're parallel and have to slant the same. All right, so if we're given an equation of a line, uh, let's say 4x plus 2y equals 7, and we're given a point that we want to find a line that is parallel to this given line, but we'll pass through this given point. Let's just say 4, negative 2. All right, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this in slope-intercept form and find the slope. So we subtract 4x from each side. So bring down our 2y equals negative 4x plus 7, divide everything by 2, don't worry about the fractions in this one, we have negative 4 over 2 reduces to negative 2x plus 7 halves. Now remember, in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, this negative 2 is in position m. So what does that mean? Negative 2 is the slope. Since it is the slope of the first line and the lines are parallel, it is also the slope of the second line. So our slope m equals negative 2. So we can use our point slope formula y minus y subscript 1 equals m times x minus x subscript 1. Okay, our x subscript 1 is 4. Our y subscript 1 is going to be negative 2. So y minus negative 2 equals negative 2, our slope times x minus 4. Okay, we're going to clean this up. Double negative becomes a positive, so y plus 2 equals, and we're going to distribute this negative 2, our slope. So we take negative 2 times the x, get negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 4 gives you positive 8. Now we're going to move this, because we're going to put this in the slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 2 from each side. And we have y equals negative 2x plus 6. There is our parallel line. This is parallel to the first line and it passes through the points 4, negative 2. We have a similar procedure with perpendicular lines, except for one big difference. Their slopes are negative reciprocals. What does that mean? Well, some books call them opposite reciprocals. What it means is you change the sign and take the reciprocal. So, let's get ourselves a line. Let's just say we have, this one's in slope-intercept form. y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. All right, we want to get a point that passes through 0, 8. All right, well, first thing we do is we find the slope of this line. Well, right here is our slope, 2 thirds. 
So if I say m equals 2 over 3, the slope that is perpendicular to that, this is a symbol for perpendicular, equals, change the sign, so since that one was positive, this one has to be a negative, and then it's going to be 3 over 2, negative reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal of 2 thirds is negative 3 halves. Now we're going to use our point slope formula. All right, so we say y minus y subscript 1 equals m, we're using the perpendicular slope, times x minus x subscript 1. Now we're going to plug in the coordinates of our point y minus 8 equals negative 3 halves times x minus, and our x coordinate, 0. Okay, well, if I were to multiply this, we have y minus 8 equals negative 3 halves times x is negative 3 halves halves x. But what happens when I take it times the 0? Well, anything times 0 is 0. So I don't have to write plus 0. I can if I want to, and it might be a good thing to help some people with just this step, because we're not finished. If we were finished, I wouldn't write the 0 there. Because I'm putting this into slope-intercept form, I'm going to add 8, and we put it under the 0. So I now have y equals negative 3 halves x plus 8. Now, we could have also um, used our slope-intercept form for this. Which is easier? Well, it depends on what's easier for you. All right? Well, I hope you had fun, as much fun with this as I have. Have a good day.